let's have a quick look at the 555 oscillator new oscillator which me and Maverick created so it has four output tri triangle saw wave sine wave and pulse with wave and a few inputs which I'll um, go over in a second but first let's just hear the different outputs so we have the triangle pretty smooth tone a little bit of grit We're just listening to it purely through the mixer so the mixer can add some uh, saturation this is the saw wave Grittier, harder, harsher. And in the bass regions you can really hear that it's getting almost to a square wave. Then we have the sine wave. Very pure sine wave, really close to 100% sine wave. Can be very bassy. Great for kicks, subs as well, but also for some beautiful um, ethereal pa patterns, high end as well. Then we have, of course, the pulse wave, which is a yeah, pulse wave which you can pulse modulate with a knob or via CV. Just like the uh, a modular pulse waves, it's you can go to complete zero duty cycle, which means zero sound at the end of the nocturne this way you can even use this oscillator without the uh, a VCA if you don't have any more VCA uh, just an envelope in the BWM CV and you can get the same effect okay let's first check the inputs as well and then we'll do something more musical than just listening to the tones first of all we have the sync input Easiest is to patch a square wave in that. It's actually what it does is when it gets a 5 volt signal, the input, it resets the waveform. So, for example, if you're in the middle of your sine wave, or like at the peak of your sine wave, and it then gets a signal in the sync input that it has to reset, then it will drop back to zero and start the sine wave again instantly. Let's first hear it. So I patch the square wave of this oscillator into the sync input of the second oscillator. So depending on the frequency here, you can hear different things happen. So when they have a frequency close to each other, you get all types of weird overtones and even jumping. very textured and rich sounds with just two square waves but you'll also notice if this frequency is way higher than the other one you almost only hear the first oscillator because this one has to reset almost every time before its wave is even started but remember this was a square wave it sounds more like something almost triangle wavy. You will also hear that the volume can change depending on the combination. So even some aliens talking to us there. Also, next input, there is the PWM. I will not um, demo that one, it just changes the PWM of the square wave, that's it, but it has its own dedicated attenuator knob as well. Let's go to the FM inputs, there are two FM inputs, linear and exponential. Most classic way to do FM is with a sine wave, so we will modulate the sine wave of this right side oscillator with the sine wave of the left side. 
can use the FMO sine wave, any sine wave, but you can also use square waves, triangle waves. Doesn't matter. Experiment. But I'll just demo the sine wave on sine wave. sine wave is a bit harsher <laughs> okay now I have to mention one thing as well you might have seen that there is already a patch cable in the frequency input this is because of the 0 to 5 volts in IE modular. There are only 5 octaves possible to regulate with just one potentiometer in an analog way, or at least in a standard way. So this means we have 5 octaves, and it's the high octaves which we have right now. So this one does not have a high-low switch like some of the oscillators do. But you can always patch in um, just a straight zero voltage, for example, if you want the bass note instead of the high note. Then you, I patched in the ground from the master module, where you can dial in zero volts or anything you like with an attenuator or something. Then you have the five lowest octaves. So this is as low as it goes. Okay. Let's do something more musical. So you can grab the capabilities. I'll patch in the RBSS through the quantizer to deliver the sequence. And then I'll also add in the filter, SV filter and the delay to get something more musical. Right, and RBSS to the quantizer. You already hear that the sine wave is not as pure anymore because there is some clipping going on with the envelope PCA SV filter and delay. oscillator sound of course anymore but I think it's a realistic sound for your system of course with simple modules but it's the sine wave if we mix in a bit of the triangle so here we get a bit more high end due to the merging waves now take the sine wave away again we get a bit more bass in the different waveforms at different levels. That's for me a big part of the fun with this module is just morphing between four different waves provided and checking out all the different tones. So, the left 
oscillator, he is following the same sequence as the second one, which is important if you want the most interesting results in my opinion, but of course feel free to experiment. of the two tunings for every note we get a slightly different texture as well we will do it without the tune it's also cool now each note gets a completely different texture This one following the same pattern, same sequence from the RBSS as second one. This is, this is linear. This is pure. This is with the event. So we get typical belly sounds. This is the expansion one. Enjoy!